<laughs> Imagine being an indigenous elder in the modern world, having lived your life only to realize that your grandchildren and the coming generations will not speak your language or even know their cultural heritage. What could this mean for humankind? Our modern world has provided immense societal benefits, but a globalized world like ours is causing the loss of cultures, the loss of ancestral knowledge. It is estimated that up to 90% of all languages may be lost by the end of this century, leading to the erosion of our ethnosphere. The ethnosphere is a term coined by a great anthropologist and ethnobotanist named Wade Davis. It is defined as the sum total of all thoughts and intuitions, myths and beliefs, ideas and inspirations brought into being by the human imagination since the dawn of consciousness. The ethnosphere is humanity's greatest legacy. One such place facing cultural loss largely due to modernization is the Union Territory of Ladakh in northern India. This documentary is an attempt to shed light on the link between modernization and cultural change in Ladakh. High up in the rain shadow region of the magnificent Himalayas lies the beautiful kingdom of Ladakh. It is hard not to fall in love with this place. However, this ecologically and culturally sensitive region faces many threats. This is the story of change in a breathtaking paradise. Located in North India and surrounded by the Himalayas, Ladakh is one of the most isolated regions of the world. Surrounded by countries like China and Pakistan, Ladakh is a sensitive and strategic region with an active military. It has a cold desert type of climate with scarce vegetation and warm to hot summers and extremely cold winters. Ladakh is home to stunning and jaw-dropping sites like the Holy Pangong Lake, high altitude, motorable passes, and multiple monasteries. Ladakh has a unique traditional heritage, which is humbling and fascinating. The culture of Ladakh is rooted in Tibetan Mahayana Buddhism. Infused with a sense of spirituality, this place has a colorful tradition which respects the natural world. The faces of people here radiate peace and happiness. This is a true signature of abundance without affluence. However, two forces are reshaping the culture and the landscape of this beautiful place faster than ever. Modernization and tourism. This is gradually leading to the paradox of progress in Ladakh. Let's hear from Helena Norberg Hodge on this topic. She is a writer and activist who has lived here for more than two decades and she wrote a fantastic book called Ancient Futures, Lessons from Ladakh for a Globalizing World. Helena has also created an organization called Local Futures that strengthens local communities and economies worldwide to preserve cultural and biological diversity. I know it might sound far-fetched, but I'm convinced that looking at Ladakh can actually help us to better understand what's going on in the West. Um, when I first went to Ladakh, there was no pollution, no crime, uh, and people had lived peacefully side by side for centuries. And there was an incredible joy to life. But now, in, in recent years, I've seen the impact of, of the modern Western world on the traditional culture. And this ability to contrast the old with the new 
clarifies a lot of things. It, it helps to explain the reasons behind many of the problems that we face in the West, the reasons behind environmental breakdown and the breakdown of communities. And, and, and more importantly, it helps to, to show how we might get out of, of this mess that we've created. The city of Leh is the capital of Ladakh and the heart of this mystical place. Surrounded by sacred mountains, Leh has become a cannery in the coal mine for modernization in Ladakh. In recent years, Leh has undergone rapid expansion and unplanned urbanization. I mean, there, there is no direction, direction of this development here in Leh. The economy of Ladakh, you know, or Leh or Ladakh, is from two sources, two main sources. This is from tourism and from defense. Since this is border area, we have everybody, every family have some or some or how you know they are connected with the Indian army. And apart from that, you know, tourism is one thing. It is it is like it is like you know, blooming. You know, there are so many. So in this case, you know, people are blindly blindly investing so much of money. In, in physical construction, you know, of in infrastructure, of good hotels, you know, hotels of different category even now. We have five star hotels. You have, you know, and every year, you know, it changes, you know. Some of them, if, if there is five star hotel with swimming pool and now, now there are, they are going back, you know, Solarize hotel, you know, Solarize, you know, where they use uh, local um, technique, local system to build a house, you know, which is also sustainable throughout the year. So in that case, you know, it is changing in terms of, uh, that's what I say, like in terms of physical infrastructure, in terms of uh, business, in, in terms of money. But again, what I say is there is, there is nothing sustainable. Yeah, these are not, a, I feel like even all these people are in confusion. There's no direction. There is no, you know, nowhere to follow. So, you know, it is, it is like, you know, it, it is like uh, like a well, you know. People, it is like 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 what? How do you say like uh, like uh, hold up in a pot of um, whirlpool. Whirlpool, whirlpool? Yeah, you know. So many, so many things, so many things are there, but there's no proper direction. I belong to a nomad family from my village. So when I was small, uh, uh, I used to have nomad life at that time with my family, uh, with my cattle, uh, like sheep, goat, and all this thing. So at that time, we used to uh, settle at one place for like one month, two months, according to the grass, uh, so that we can feed to our cattle. So after one month, we sheep. So like this kind of tradition, we call it nomad. So uh, when I compare these days and those days, I can, for sure, I can say like uh, it's uh, like a big change uh, because uh, nowadays, the, because of modernization and technology and all this thing, uh, the people uh, who belongs to Nomad, they like to shift to like a city, like in Leh. So for example, I, I can give you one example. There's a place called Khanak in Changtang region. So um, the number of people uh, from Karnak, they have shifted to Leh and then they have settled at one place near to Leh city. And so people have shifted to Leh market and number of people from Karnak is growing uh, like year by year. So like this kind of changes I can see from beginning my childhood in, in my village and these days. I think our nomad tradition, our nomad culture, it might be declined like in coming 100 years or after 150 years. 
This has created significant cultural and environmental changes. However, in order to fully understand the present, we must dive briefly into the past of Ladakh. Thank you so much for watching this documentary. I really appreciate your time. And I would love to hear your feedback and your thoughts in the comments below, so please do share them. This work would not have been possible without you, my friends, family, and the amazing people involved in two NGOs doing the real groundwork. They are Golden Mile Learning and Go Green, Go Organic Ladakh. If you want to learn more about these organizations and what, the, what projects they're working on, the links to them are in the description below, so please do check them out. Part two will continue right where we left off. Part two will focus more on the positive and negative aspects of modernization as told and observed by the locals of Ladakh. We'll also focus on environmental changes that are happening with cultural changes due to modernization. So please stay tuned by subscribing to the channel below and part two will be up next month. In the meantime, have an amazing and happy new year. I wish you the best of health, best of luck, and I will see you very soon. Thank you so much for watching again and have an amazing, amazing new year. Thank you.